Uh oh, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So, what's it in you? Today, we are doing, discussing COVID 19, the aftermath. Although we are still battling this virus, it is still very much real, the world, and particularly the United States, is starting to reopen, which is wonderful, great. But, I want to talk about returning back to work, returning back to our places of worship, clubs, Wherever you hang out, wherever you hung out or went to prior to the virus, and now we are, you're going back to those places. For many of us, we many people weren't directly affected, meaning you didn't lose someone, no one you knew, you know, in your in your life, may, you know, that you knew directly or in your family passed away from this virus. But we know thousands and thousands of people did die from this virus. And all those people had family and friends and co-workers, most of those people, family, friends, co-workers that are going through grief as a result, as a result of their passing. So although we, those of us who were not directly affected, we must still show empathy for the people that were affected, right? Empathy meaning I, I'm not I didn't go through what you go you you went through, but I I I, I feel like I have, or I feel I, I have an understanding of how you must feel losing your grandma, your aunt, your cousin, your dad, whoever, right? So as we move back and go, or we're going back out into society, many of the people who are going to return are in a cycle, are in the cycle of grief. Since March 2020, people have lost family, a large amount of people at one time, or one period of time. And so as those people now need to go back to work, back to church, wherever they're going to return, we have to, those of us who haven't been directly affected, have to have that sense of empathy. So, I think part of how we can help those people heal through this grief is not sharing our, if you have conspiracy theories about what happened. Right, and because I've just been hearing so many conspiracy theories, the cell phones cause this um, virus. Chinese people eating bats cause this virus. Scientists made the virus in the lab. The government is instituted this virus. All of these, the virus is not even real. All of this conspiracy theories none of that matters when your co-worker has lost their parent their child their cousin their mother those things don't matter right so if I'm walking to my lunch area and I hear a whole group of people having this whole conversation about conspiracy theories about COVID and it was fake and it's this and that how does that make me feel if that's my experience. And no matter what these 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 conspiracy theories are, it doesn't matter. I lost my 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 loved one. So I just want to put that message out. Please when you return and you're going back into the world, have empathy for people who are who have suffered a loss with this virus. And there are many, 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 many people who have suffered a loss. There are still many people who are on ventilators, in hospitals, in nursing facilities. Please be aware of that. 
as we move forward and still remain safe. There are, you're going to be, you know, you'll hear conversations with people making light of what has happened. And I think, I mean, what I do is remind them if I'm in the conversation or I'm hearing a conversation or even if I see someone put something online. Um, I was reading on a, a, a web page I was on and uh, uh, someone commented that only... You know, he said 85% of the people who died were in nursing homes. They were old. Really? How dare you? How dare you? Belittle or or make light or, or assume that they're not important because they were already in a nursing home and they were already old. So imagine if you say something like that and 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 there's a person who has a family member that was that died in that way how would that make you feel right so as we move forward and we're going back out into the community back out into our workplaces please keep that in mind that although it didn't directly affect your family you didn't lose anybody many 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 people did and we have to move forward knowing that as we get back out in the community, people are coming back to work and they're grieving. They are grieving. Grief has no timeline. I'm going to be doing a whole video on grief and the stages of grief, the cycles of grief, um, what grief may feel and look like for the individual. But for the sake of this video, I just want to say Know that as we move forward, people are grieving, and I think you need to carry yourselves accordingly. Have some empathy, right? Empathy for these people who are going to come back to work, go back to churches, and and they're in grief. So, thank you. I'm going to leave you with that. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let everyone know what your girl is doing over here at Psychology Eats. And thank you.